Hello, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing. This unboxing is from Fancells. They did send me these items for review, so thank you to Fancells. So let's do the one that's not a diamond painting first, because why not? So I saw this on their site and I was I was like, ooh, a 3D puzzle. I used to do those like 3D puzzles um, when I was a kid, so... Or, yeah, <laughs> I'm still a kid, not kidding. Um, so I thought this was interesting. It looks like it's a wood puzzle. It's supposed to be 120 pieces for eight years old and above. So it shouldn't be that hard, right? I should be able to figure this out. <laughs> um, let's see if I... So they do have some items that are not diamond painted related. And this puzzle is 705 in pounds on their site. Let's see. It is a nice box. This would make a nice it's it's nicely um, wrapped up so it would make a nice gift or something. Okay. Ooh, wait, there's instructions. Well, I wonder if I'll be able to finish this in time for the end of the video. Or am I just <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to accidentally, like, score the, I don't want to accidentally, like, mess up the wood of the puzzle. Oh, there's, like, some sandpaper here. Um, You'll get splinters from this, and that's why they give you the sandpaper. So, so it's supposed to be the Ferris wheel, and they give you instructions, you know. If you're the type who reads instructions like me, I am. It can't be harder than putting together IKEA furniture, right? <laughs> okay, I think this will be this will be not bad. Um, it does look like you'll have to pop the pieces out of this um, structure here. So, so yeah. oh, look at all these little tiny pieces. Um, but yeah, I think I think this will be fun, and it'll be a nice departure, a little de um, departure. Oh, I think the hardest part might just be putting together the little um, carousels, not carousels. I don't know what you call them. You know, the where the people hang out. The I don't know the cars. So yeah, um, I just thought it was a night. I, I thought it was interesting, you know. We'll see if it works out better than when I when, when I tried to do paper quilling. Um, <laughs> but if I do end up finishing it, you'll see it at the end of the video. If not, um, I don't know. You might just randomly see see it this finished in a future video because sometimes that's what I do. I'm just like, oh, I haven't finished that one. Let's do it, and then I'll just show it on the on the channel sometime. So yeah, did I say this one is 705 in pounds? Um, it does say the assembled size is 155 by 62 by 165. I was I can't I can't like measure this. So yeah, I think if you like doing puzzles or you you know someone who likes doing puzzles, I thought I thought this was cute. And hey, if an eight year old can do it, I could do it, right? <laughs> All right. So next one. There's the opening. Although, I mean, there was a TV show a little for a while that was called Are You Smarter Than a... Was it Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? I could answer most of those questions on Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? But, you know... I think it, a lot of it is, you know, if you've, you're years away from having done the work before that you don't remember, like, all the, all the, you know, the useless knowledge or facts that they give you during school sometimes. So, Ordinary Toolkit. Um, this is a, looks like a full rhinestone, or it could be special shapes also. Um, and here it is. It's Starry Night. I feel like I've done Starry Night multiple times in the, multiple different versions. Like I did a, I did Starry Night as a square diamond painting, a 40 by 50 um, diamond painting. I did um, Starry Night as a luminous diamond painting. And now I'm doing it as a, 
um, special shaped crystal diamond painting. Yeah, it does look like it might have some special shapes since these look a little bit bigger here. Um, and the drill field, it's actually mostly symbols. So hopefully, yeah, I think as long as you can tell what they are, it'll be fine. Um, and it looks like there are 10 colors in this one. And let's see what kind of drills this thing has. So it looks like regular yellow rhinestones. Oh, these are like one of my favorite rhinestones. It's like the clear rhinestone that has an AB coating on it. Um, and then some more regular sized rhinestones. And then see, here's the normal clear rhinestones. And then some bigger rhinestones here. So yeah, I think I think this will be fun to do. Um, this will be my try to finish it before the um, before the video gets posted. So look out for the finish of this at the end. Oh, and did I say how much this one was? This was three ninety nine in pounds in UK pounds, and it is a thirty three, almost thirty four, um, by. 24. So yeah, I think I think this one will be fun to do. So next time I'm painting. I don't know which one this is. I, I was gonna open my page, but then I'm like, I don't know which one this is. kind of see what it is so I could change my page too so ordinary toolkit these are gonna be regular round drills and oh wait, it's upside down there it is um you need to move you a little bit up or I'll... let's just move you sideways while I flatten this I don't know how much better I do when I flatten it. No, I think it's better. So yeah, it's this, um, it's, it's kind of one of those longer, taller ones. It's this mountain range with some moons and the sky. I don't know. Sometimes I just like doing these kind of like simple images. Um, let's see. It is a... 44 by 24 and a half and it has 20 colors with DMCs they look like they're all letters um, the drill field I think looks fine this looks like it's going to be really easy. You know what? This actually is probably where I'm going to go crazy. Is why is the B and the R in the same place? Oh my goodness. Couldn't it have been a different letter? Like, it looks like they're going to be like this dark blue color. 791 and 820. And of course, those are the ones that are right next to each other. B and R. B and R. <laughs> Oh, and this one is $4.99 in pounds. And... Oh, these are separate. Those colors. It kind of looks like, you know, um, like, just like, ooh, there's a lot of purple. Um, I don't know, nighttime nursery kind of colors. I don't know. I don't have children, so I don't know what you would put in a nighttime nursery. <laughs> So, so yeah, just some nice kind of muted colors there. And I just thought this would be a nice one that will turn out in not a massive size, so. Okay, next one. Let's do this one. I think I know which one this is. Um... 
I think it's this one. Well, based off of my... <laughs> Okay, there's nothing left in there. So, so ordinary toolkit. And this is supposed to be a chair cover. So um, either that or a really big hat for somebody. So let me move you up a little bit. Um, so it's supposed to be a chair cover where you slip over your, your chair. Um, this is the side I guess you would be sitting on and then this goes into the back of the chair or you could put it in the front of the chair. Um, I don't know, do you put it in the back of the chair or the front of the chair? Either way, it's a chair cover. So I just like, huh. See now I feel like um, ever like, you can diamond paint anything now, so it's a chair cover. I have no idea if it'll fit my chair, but um, I will try and see if it does. So I got this Santa with um, with a reindeer. I'm trying to think if it's Rudolph. It The reindeer does have a red nose. Um, but yeah, I thought this was really cute. So so it's it does look like it's, it's minimally... Um, diamond painted not completely like you don't have like not all of um santa's beard is diamond painted here um so it looks like just numbers they look very clear i think i do like that they are the white circles are outlined in i guess i'm hoping the right color because at least it makes the white part of the circle smaller so it will be covered up by the drills i'm hoping so yeah santa and the reindeer and this doesn't seem like there's that many colors for this one. Oh, and did i say this one is 5.99 in pounds and it looks like there's what six seven seven colors so some orange there oh i like this color here and then it looks like some black drills these do look like the rhinestone type because they have a flat top and then so yeah just rhinestone drills here i will finish this for the end of the video so look out for that and then i'll maybe try to do an on location picture where i put it on top of on top of my chair if it fits any of my chairs um we'll see it actually seems pretty big so it, it might fit my chair so it is about 47 centimeters across or 18 and a half inches across so i think as long as your chair will fit it, I think this would be really cute. It's actually not that, it seems like pretty decent material. So, um, so yeah. Okay. Let me do the next one. Oh. So the last one. So now that I know which ones I have opened. So this one, so kind of ordinary toolkit, except it does have tweezers and some multi-placers. Um, these are going to be square drills. And it's this picture here. Is a lion head. I just I, I don't know. I like the colorful animals, so I thought, sure, let's get more colorful animals. <laughs> just trying to flatten it out here. So yeah, it's this lion head here. Let me put you up more. It's this colorful lion head here. It is kind of hard to see what the actual image is going to be. Let me see if I pull you down. Here is the thumbnail, the colorful lion there. So it does look like there are 
35 colors in this one. Um, it looks like it's a mixture of symbols and letters. Um, I do like that there's 35 colors. And I've, I've gotten diamond paintings from this manufacturer a, a lot, so um, I, I haven't had any issues with the drill field quality, I feel like. I feel they're very clear. The only thing I've had issues with is sometimes the stick isn't that great because, um, but this one seems okay. So <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, I think this one seems okay. It's just that the, the current one I'm doing is from this manufacturer and I think they must have messed up on the glue because it's not sticky that sticky so but this one seems this seems seems decent so i think i'm happy with that so i'm not going to take out the drills well let's look at a couple colors maybe um because it's hard to show the when they're in the baggies so if i take out a couple pretty colors we could look at them and my pretty colors are usually like, ooh, look at the pretty colors. So I did get squares, and I have done a couple diamond paintings with this manufacturer, and I've I've been pretty happy with the square quality. Um, so yeah. And this diamond painting is $7.99 in pounds on Fancell's site. And did I measure this thing? I don't even remember. It is a 38 and a half by 39. So yeah, I think this one will be beautiful when finished. Um, so in case you don't remember everything that I unboxed on this video, here is the lion. Here is Santa and the reindeer. It's a chair covered. <laughs> here is the mountains here. Here's the starry night. And here's my Ferris wheel puzzle. I will finish the, the starry night and the Santa um, and reindeer cover for the end of the video. Anything else will be bonus. <laughs> so I'll see you later. So I'm back and here is the really blingy Starry Night. I I highly enjoyed this one. It's really really beautiful and it has it's it's just really beautiful. Um, it has also what has be is becoming my favorite dr um, rhinestone drill, which is the AB version of the clear drill. Um, it just looks so awesome. Um, and so, so I don't know if you could tell, um, I'm hoping it'll convey on screen. So this actually had the clear rhinestone and then these are the AB rhinestones. So it had both of them in this kit and it just, it just looks so beautiful. Um, <laughs> but, but yeah, um, now that I'm looking at this, I'm thinking I should have, I should use the clear rhinestone for this one just so that I could continue on with the charting, but eh, I'm too lazy. Um, it'll just stay how, how it is. Um, it just seems like it got charted kind of wrong. So this one has the AB rhinestone and then the re rest of the outline is the clear, the regular rhinestone. And I think I should change all of this to just the regular rhinestone. But like I said, too lazy. I think it still looks beautiful the way it is. Um, so did I write anything? So this is a 24 by 34. It has 10 colors, seven are rhinestones and three specials. This took me two days to complete. My main problem was the guide circles, which seems to be the thing with these special ones is you can see the guide circles. And um, unfortunately, because it is not a full drill, it's a partial drill. You don't have the other drills like shoving the drill into place. So you do see the guide circles um, a lot more and it's a lot harder to place. And poured glue tends to be um, springy. So even if you did try to shift it, it just kind of 
comes it kind of just bounces back to where you originally placed it so i think i think just the whole guide circles for these specials is just going to be something i'm going to have to deal with um <laughs> because i still really do enjoy it and i think this one turned out beautiful um it had a lot or most of it was regular um size drills and then they just added just the extra of these bigger ones just to just make it more pretty i yeah, no, I, I really enjoyed this one, so that's why I'm, it just, it's so, it's beautiful. Um, I think I've done the Starry Night picture three times already. I did one that was a luminous one, and I did one that was a square one that I just got from AliExpress. Um, and then now this is my third one. So, yeah. And I really do like how, even though I'm doing the same image over and over. It's just a brand new experience. Um, so next one that I finished, let me change the page on my journal. The other one that I finished is this one here. Um, it, I don't know if I need to bring you up completely. Like, see, it's, it's a chair cover. Um, so there is like an opening here so you could put it on the back of your chair. Um, and I did, I was going to do a, like, let's show it on back of one of my chairs, but um, all my chairs have a um, cushion back and it just makes the chair just too wide that I couldn't fit this. But I think if you have a chair that's just like a wood back chair or maybe not as wide as my chairs, apparently my chairs are too wide, um, it will probably fit. And if you wonder if yours is going to fit the 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 width of this thing is 47 centimeters or um about 18 and a half um inches so so yeah let me move you down a little bit so yeah i think this one turned out really really cute um so yeah this one i think yeah it was all so this was a, it's a chair cover. There were seven colors. All of them were crystal rhinestones. This took me one day to complete. And this is not really a fault. It's just more I did it. I just added more drills um, just because I felt it was, it was like, I think I added more drills to the beard here. And I think I just added more drills in random places that I just thought that there should be more drills. Um, mainly because one, there is a lot like the Santa's beard, it's all sticky. So I'm gonna have to seal this. Um, I haven't sealed it yet, <laughs> but I'm gonna have to seal it. Um, because yeah, look, Santa's beard is all sticky. I mean, um, the other one, the other parts aren't sticky. So it was just mainly Santa's beard is all sticky. And then uh, the belt is all sticky also, or not, I don't know this is not the belt. This is the fluff on the bottom of the sweater. Um, it's sticky also. So, and yeah, so there's, um, a lot of excess glue on this one. Maybe I should write that down as a something, um, you know, Lots of excess glue. There you go. <laughs> and so, but other other than that, I think this turned out really cute. I mean, it was such, it's, it's a really, it's very partial. I do kind of wish there was a couple more drills in there. I was thinking of doing more um, to the beard here, but I didn't. Um, one, because I didn't think I would have enough to do it. And even though I probably have in more um, of the clear rhinestone drills in my stash, I just didn't feel like doing it. So, <laughs> so yeah, I will have, like I said, I will have to seal this, but um, I think it just looks cute. So that is all I have for the end uh, for the showing of this video so here are the two finishes for this unboxing and so oops my camera's moving so thank you to fan cells for sending these items for review and thank you for watching and happy diamond painting bye